Hello everyone. We are doing chapter number 7 structural organization in animals. This is the second video of the chapter class 11th biology. In this video we are going to cover two topics connective tissues and muscle tissues. Let us start with the connective tissues. What are connective tissues? These are the tissues which connect one part of the body to another part. It links and support the tissues and the organs and they are the most abundant type of tissues present in the complex animals. They are made up of three main things. First they are, they are having the cells, fibers and the matrix. Matrix is also called as ground substance. In all connective tissues except blood, the cells secrete fibers of structural proteins called as collagen and elastin, which give strength, elasticity and flexibility to tissues. Is it clear? Sabhi tissues ke andar, sabhi connective tissues ke andar, blood ko chhod kar, jo cells hote hai, they form the protein fibers, which are called as collagen and elastin. And these fibers are very important. They give strength, they give elasticity, they give flexibility to the tissues. And the cells, they also secrete modified polysaccharide, which is also called as matrix. And this matrix is also called as ground substance, which accumulate between the cells and the fibers. So, see the diagram. There are cells, there are fibers, there is ground substance or the matrix in any connective tissues. Connective tissues are of three types, loose connective tissues, dense connective tissues and specialized connective tissues. Loose connective tissues are again of two types areolar tissues and adipose tissues. Dense connective tissues are dense regular and dense irregular and specialized connective tissues are cartilage, bone and blood. Let us study them one by one. Loose connective tissues in this what are the cells present in the loose connective tissues? The cells are fibroblast, macrophages and mast cells. These are the three types of cells present in loose connective tissues. They also have the fibers which are loosely arranged in semi fluid matrix. Matrix jo hai wo semi fluid hai. It is not hard, it is not solid, it is semi fluid, it is not fluid also. It is semi fluid matrix or is semi fluid matrix mein fibers are arranged loosely and there are cells. They are of two types areolar and adipose. See the diagram. This is the areolar tissues having the cells, fibroblast cells, macrophages and mast cells. There are collagen fibers. Okay. So, these tissues are present beneath the skin. What is the function? They serve as a support framework for the epithelium. Come to the adipose tissues. They are also present beneath the skin. And in me jo cells hote hain, unko kehte hain adipocytes. Aur ye cells apne andar fats ko store karke rakhte hain. Jo bhi extra food hum khate hain, all the nutrients they converted into fat. And this, these fat is stored in the adipocytes tissues. Okay. Come to the dense connective tissues. In dense connective tissues, the cells, fibroblast and the fibers, both are compactly packed. They are not, not loosely packed. Both compact hote hain. They are of two types, dense regular connective tissues and dense irregular connective tissues. As per the name, see the definition, dense regular. See the diagram. This shows regular pattern of fibers. 
fibers are parallel to each other regularly properly arranged in the form of a rose collagen fibers are present in rose between many parallel bundles of fibers okay so here the fibers are arranged in a regular pattern example of dense regular tissues are tendons and ligaments what are tendons they attach skeletal muscle to bone muscle ko bone se agar attach hona hai to we need tendons agar bone ko bone se attach hona hai then we need the ligaments so tendons and ligaments are dense regular connective tissues come to the dense irregular connective tissues yahan par irregular pattern mein hote hain fibroblast and fibers koi regular pattern mein arrange nahi hote and they are present in the skin again come to the specialized connective tissues first specialized connective tissue is a cartilage in this the intercellular material which is called matrix matrix is solid yahan par and pliable means flexible hai thoda sa due to the presence of chondroitin salts very important remember the name of the salt present in the cartilage matrix this is the chondroitin and the name of the cells present in the cartilage are chondrocytes these chondrocytes are enclosed in a small cavities within the matrix see the diagram there is a cavity inside this there is a cell which is called chondrocytes and around this the collagen fibers are present matrix is present made up of chondroitin jitne bhi cartilage hain embryo ke andar jab developing baby hai jo embryo hai usme jitne bhi cartilage hain wo maximum cartilage they convert into bones in adult but adults mein kuch cartilage cartilage hi reh jate hain kahan hote hain hamari body mein cartilage at the tip of the nose outer ear joints in the vertebral column backbone mein jo beech mein jo ek bone aur dusri bone ke beech mein jo joint hota hai wahan bhi cartilage hote hain joints in the limbs and hands in the adults they have got the cartilage next come to bone it is hard non pliable isko bend nahi kiya ja sakta why because it is rich in calcium salts and collagen fibers which give bones its strength inke cells ka naam kya hai osteocytes jo spaces mein present hote hain and the spaces are called as lacunae lacunae ke andar osteocytes hain is it clear and the matrix is made up of calcium which is non pliable which is hard in bones bones ka functions kya hain first function hai it provides structural frame to the body जो हमारा फ्रेमवर्क है दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्केलेटल सिस्टम नंबर टू दिस सपोर्ट एंड प्रोटेक्ट अवर सॉफ्ट टिश्यूज एंड ऑर्गेन्स जैसे ब्रेन है ब्रेन को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए स्कल है लंग्स एंड हार्ट को सपोर्ट करने के लिए चेस्ट बोन्स हैं रिब्स जिसको बोलते हैं ओके सो दे सपोर्ट एंड प्रोटेक्ट द सॉफ्टर टिश्यूज एंड ऑर्गेन्स जो लिम्ब बोन्स हैं वॉट दे डू दे सर्व एज अ वेट बियरिंग पार्ट हमारी बॉडी का सारा वेट को बियर करती हैं ये दे हेल्प इन द लोकोमोशन एंड मूवमेंट एंड मोर ओवर इन द बोन मैरो विच इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड द बोन ब्लड सेल्स आर फॉर्म्ड सो कहाँ बनते हैं ब्लड सेल्स हमारी बॉडी में बोन मैरो के अंदर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द बोन सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द बोन एंड द कार्टिलेज लेफ्ट हैंड साइड से स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं हम बोन इट इज हार्ड एंड रिजिड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू है कार्टिलेज इज सेमी रिजिड बट हार्ड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू सेकेंड डिफरेंस मैट्रिक्स में कैल्शियम होता है मैट्रिक्स में कैल्शियम नहीं होता कॉन्ड्रॉइटिन होता है बोन्स के जो सेल्स होते हैं वो ऑस्टियोसाइट्स कहलाते हैं और वो लेक्यूनी में प्रेजेंट होते हैं इज फाउंड इन अ लेक्यूनी एंड कॉन्ड्रोसाइट्स 
two, three, four chondrocytes are present in one lacunae. Right hand side पर आइए bone. Bone cannot be bent or stretched. Bone को bend नहीं कर सकते, stretch नहीं कर सकते. लेकिन cartilage को bend भी किया जा सकता है, fold भी किया जा सकता है. Bone is the hardest part of the body. Cartilage is soft and flexible. This may break. Bone can break and result in the fracture. अगर bone टूट जाए तो fracture कहलाता है. But cartilage does not break. Bone is made up of calcium and phosphorus. Cartilage is made up of protein, salt, and connective tissues. Bones are non-pliable. Cartilage are pliable. So these are the differences between the bone and the cartilage. Come to the next tissue, specialized connective tissue, blood. It is a fluid connective tissue. Why it is a fluid connective tissue? Because matrix is a fluid, which is called plasma. Plasma के अंदर cells होते हैं and they together form the connective tissues. कौन कौन से cells होते हैं Plasma के अंदर red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. So what is a blood? Blood is actually a tissue. It is thick. क्यों है thick? Because it is made up of variety of cells. और हर cell का अपना अपना काम है In fact, blood is about 80% of water. ये भी है कि हमारा blood जो है 80% water से बना है और 20% solid है. Blood is made mostly of plasma, but three main type of blood cells circulate within the plasma. See the composition of blood. Formed elements 45% हैं जो तीन तरीके के हैं. Red blood cells को erythrocytes कहते हैं, white blood cells को leukocytes कहते हैं, platelets को thrombocytes कहते हैं. And there is a fluid medium that is plasma. Fifty-five percent of fluid medium is there in the blood. Let us see the functions of blood. First function, RBC होते हैं इसमें. RBC has got hemoglobin, a pigment, and which help in the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide. हमारी body में lungs से body के different parts में oxygen को जाना है. So what will help? RBCs because they have got the hemoglobin for the transport of oxygen. Similarly, from the different body parts, carbon dioxide come into the blood and from the blood they, it goes to the lungs. Function of WBC, WBC any white blood cells or leukocytes, they help in protecting our body from diseases. Third, platelets, they help in clotting of blood. अगर कहीं पर बहुत ज्यादा ब्लड लीक हो रहा है तो थोड़ी देर के बाद वहां पर क्लॉट बन जाता है दैट इज ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ प्लाज्मा प्लाज्मा हेल्प इन ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ वेरियस थिंग्स बॉडी के अंदर जितने भी मटेरियल को एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जाना है दैट विल गो थ्रू विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्लाज्मा लाइक ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ हॉर्मोन्स ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ न्यूट्रिय ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ वेस्ट मटीरियल एंड ब्लड ऑल्सो हेल्प इन मेंटेनिंग बॉडी temperature now let us come to the muscle tissues the muscle tissues are made up of muscle fibers see the diagram this is one muscle fiber and muscle fiber is composed of many fine myofibrils aur ek myofibril ko bahar nikal kar bhi dikhaya gaya hai muscle fibers can contract and also can relax or due to contraction and relaxation there is a movement locomotion and movement takes place so muscles help in the locomotion and movement because they can contract they can relax they are of three types skeletal muscles smooth muscles and cardiac muscles skeletal muscles are striated and voluntary Smooth muscles are non-striated or visceral muscles, and cardiac muscles are again striated, but they are involuntary. Let us see them one by one. First, the skeletal muscle or striated muscles or voluntary muscles. Diagram number one, आप देख लीजिए. These muscles are attached to bones. एग्जाम्पल बाइसेप्स है 
and you find striations dekhi you can see the stripes in the diagram on the muscle so they are striated muscles muscle fibers are bundles together in a parallel fashion dekhi one uh, muscle fiber is parallel to the other second uh, is a parallel to the third so they form the bundle like this okay and is bundle ke charo taraf there is a sheath of connective tissues enclosing several bundles of muscle fibers so they are striated muscles they are voluntary hamari ichha se kaam kar sakti hain ye okay they are multinucleated having many nucleus and they do not have any branches come to the smooth muscle fibers they are non striated डायग्राम देखिए नंबर टू इस मसल फाइबर में कोई स्ट्राइशन नहीं है राधर इट इज स्पिंडल शेप्ड दोनों तरफ से पॉइंटेड है और सेंटर से थोड़ा सा ब्रॉड है दे आर इन वॉलेंट्री हमारी इच्छा से काम नहीं करती हैं अपने आप काम करती हैं ये नो स्ट्राइशन आर देयर एंड सेल जंक्शन होल्ड देम टूगेदर सेल के जो जंक्शन होते हैं उनको आपस में बांधे रखते हैं इकट्ठा रखते हैं ओके एंड दे आर सीन इन द वॉल्स ऑफ इंटरनल ऑर्गेन्स सच एज ब्लड वेसल्स स्टमक एंड इंटरस टाइम थर्ड इज अ कार्डियक मसल विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द हार्ट इट इज इन वॉलेंटरी मसल इट इज ट्राइटेड मसल हैविंग सिंगल न्यूक्लियस एंड इट इज ब्रांच cell junctions fuse the plasma membrane of the cells and make them stick together aapas mein cells ko combine rakhte hain and there are communication junctions also called as intercalated disc inka fayda kya hai they allow the cell to contract as a unit jab ek cell ke paas message aa jata hai contraction ka to wo sare cells mein spread ho jata hai aur puri muscle as a unit contract karti hai because of the presence of intercalated disc so here are the three diagrams showing number 1 smooth muscle number 2 skeletal muscle and number 3 cardiac muscle skeletal and cardiac cardiac muscles are striated while the smooth muscle is non striated skeletal and cardiac muscle mein dekhiye cardiac muscle is branched but skeletal muscle is not branched okay so see the difference between the three types of mus muscles skeletal muscles location kahan par located hoti hai it is located in the skeletal system function kya hai help in the movement of bones appearance kya hai they are multinucleated striated and unbranched koi branches nahi hoti hain and they are voluntary hum jaisa chahenge waisa hi kaam kar sakti hain cardiac muscle location heart function pumping of blood there is only one nucleus striated and they are branched and they are involuntary third visceral or smooth muscles they are present in the various organs example gastrointestinal tract gi tract function kya hai help in the movement like peristalsis movement appearance they have got one nucleus no striations and control they are involuntary so that's all about the different types of tissues present in the animals do the test given in the box subscribe the channel for getting the information about the new video thank you very much for staying with me